Brian, how does it feel to come away with your first UFC win and in dramatic fashion with the finish coming in the last second of the first round? Uh, it feels awesome. You know, I, I've been waiting on this for a long time, many years of hard work, blood and sweat and tears, and it uh, feels great, like I said, to get that validation. So, In your post-fight uh, speech there with Joe Rogan, you actually talked about Fedor being one of your idols. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been a huge MMA fan for a long time, and I watched Fedor, you know, all when I was growing up, and he was uh, my favorite fighter just because he's never in a bad spot. He always strings things together, and uh, he can do everything, and he hits with, you know, amazing force. So he's somebody that I always watched and, you know, emulated, so, yeah. In Strikeforce, I watched you, and I believe you were one and one there with that promotion. Yeah. And you know, coming in, you had to take some time away from the fighting game before yeah. you actually got here to the UFC. What kind of, I guess, struggle was that for you in the time to be away from fighting for a, a lengthy period of time? Well, uh, there was, you know, scheduling issues with Strikeforce, and then uh, I had a fight in May of, of 2012, but I had to pull out from an injury. Uh, and I was getting married in September, so I, I had to get a job, you know, I'm a physical therapist is my profession, so I, had, I took a job and, you know, got a promotion and was doing, you know, good career-wise and living life with my new wife, so, uh, you know, I really was only going to come back if the UFC invited me, and then uh, at the end of 2012, there was, you know, talk of me coming back over, so, you know, whenever that happened, you know, I talked with my wife and we ended up deciding, you know, we got to go for it, so that's what happened. Would you say that you're very aggressive in nature because in this fight it seemed that you just went out guns blazing or was it because of that layoff that you really felt you had to get in there and prove something? Uh, I'm calm. I'm not aggressive as far as like anxious, mad or angry before any fights, but uh, all my fights I come out after people. One of the best things I ever learned was just go after people and put, and put them on defense and that's what I do in all my fights. So I, I'm not afraid to get hit and I'm there to show them that, uh, you know, that I'm coming after them. So that, that's pretty much how most of my fights are. So. People talk about the, the jitters in the first UFC fight. How was it for you? I didn't feel any. Uh, I've never been nervous before one fight. And, you know, that's not just bragging. You, you can ask all my friends. I was just laying back, you know, saying a few prayers before, you know, just asking to be calm and, and let what I've done uh, come out. So, uh, you know, I felt good. I was smiling and laughing as I was uh, waiting to come out. So uh, I didn't feel it at all. Well, now that it's over, have you had a chance yet to let it sink in? Like, hey, you went in there and knocked a guy out in the UFC? Is Not really. Different? Yeah, I, I haven't really let it sink in. I'm just, you know, kind of so happy. I, you know, I had such an adrenaline dump right afterward. I ran around screaming crazy, lost my voice, and got tired from the uh, from the celebration. So uh, it just feels good. I just can't, can't stop smiling. That's it. When he was using the front kick to keep away, uh, could you tell you were starting to really get to him with that power? Uh, first punch that I landed, uh, I knew that it, he felt it, and I saw him kind of, you know, wobble a little bit. So I knew that uh, he felt it, and I knew he wanted to try to keep his distance. But uh, you know, I spar with some of the best fighters in the world. You know, Jeff Rexro, Mike Bronzulis, Lester Batris. All these guys are taller than me. All of them, you know, push the pace. And, and Andrew Craig, who's on the card too. So I'm used to that height. I'm used to that reach, and you know, I know how to get inside. So I felt like I could get in there. What do you think was the main? difference in this fight uh, I mean was it uh, the fact that he wasn't able to establish the jab or was it just your will uh, I feel like uh, it was a combination of both I was feeling him out seeing how he used his his uh, uh, his range and then I, I caught him I think with some good body shots the first left hook I threw to the body I think he felt it so he kind of didn't know where I was going to throw the left hook where I was going to throw the right hand so I felt like I kept him guessing enough and and uh, you know kind of used his reach for myself to get inside and, and get what I wanted off so this is your first big international fight week. What are your plans now that you've taken home the win and you're going to be able to celebrate out here in Las Vegas? I'm going to go eat pizza because I haven't had pizza in about three months, and I, I love pizza, so that's that's number one. And then the rest of the time, I'm just going to enjoy with my friends and family. I'm staying an extra day, so we're just going to relax, and I think I'm going to go jump off the stratosphere on that tether cable and see how that is. Do you have a particular kind of pizza in mind uh, that you've been thinking about? Right now, anything, but usually I like the Brooklyn style with extra sauce, so that's yeah. that's my style. So head enjoying inside the Cosmo, you got to find it, it's behind the wall. Okay, you know. all right, appreciate, <laughs> appreciate the tip, I'm going to check it out.
Was your first fight in the UFC exactly what you expected? Uh, were you a little bit awestruck? This is a spectacle we have here at 162. Uh, no, I wasn't awestruck ever. You know, I, I feel like the the time in Strike Force prepared me. You know, I fought on one of the World Grand Prix uh, tournaments with some of the best heavyweights in the world there, and then you know fought on the Challengers card and was on the main card there. And uh, the arena felt the same. You know, so I, I didn't I didn't wasn't awestruck at all. I felt good. You know, I felt like I could get the knockout. I, I wanted it to be in the first round. I wanted to go out there and put on the show and uh, show everybody I'm not a boring fighter. So, uh, you know, it feels great. It feels like everything was accomplished. Thank you so much.